A bit of a different topic tonight, and one that might be controversial to some, I don't know. But I thought I'd get it out there. Religion. I'm an atheist. Always have, will, have been and always will be. For me, personally, God, or the existence of God, is fundamentally illogical. It's simply, a, in my book, a, a creation uh, of the human mind. And it's created for various reasons, and I don't want to go into that. This is not a, a, a discourse on, on, on the where and why fours of, you know, why people believe in, in, in a God or gods. It's simply one observation that I want to make. And, and I can be shot down in flames if you like, but I, I want to make this observation because I think it's kind of relevant. <sighs> Better start. Okay. One thing, I, or I'll say it up front. Although I don't believe in any God and I don't subscribe to any religion, there are two religions that I have a soft spot for and I, I don't follow them but I have a soft spot for them meaning that I have a fundamental warmth to to the religion and and followers of it and the first one is Buddhism which I know from experience from from visiting Buddhist temples in Malaysia in China and, and Australia I, I subscribe and support, uh, I subscribe to and support their fundamental peace um, uh, and, their, and their alignment with values much like my own, this, this, uh, this uh, um, belief in the planet and in nature and this view that we should be upholding the rights and, and, and well-being of animals and our environment. And I wholly support Buddhism um, for that reason. And the other fun religion that I absolutely stand by, not, not, not as a follower, um, <laughs> is, is Islam, right? And, and <laughs> This is going to come to a shock to maybe a, a few people in, in my channel and out there. But having lived near Lakemba, or adjacent to Lakemba, which is a fund, which is one of the biggest, or probably the book, biggest Muslim uh, suburb in Australia, and having observed, you know, a lot of what's going on around the world of late, I mean, I've I've been a, a, a not a follower, but a but a supporter of followers of Islam for, for quite a while. And there was a time in, in Lakemba when you know, I wasn't famous at all, but I was known to be a sympathizer and supporter of them at that time when, especially under the Howard government, Muslims were easy target. Anybody with a beard was an easy target. Anybody with a hijab was an e easy target. And you know, I still stand by that today, and and in fact, um, you know, the events of the last year have have supported that belief and firmed up that belief in me significantly. Um, you walk down Lakemba, the street in Lakemba, you see individuals, you see the men and women, and you know that they're all um, Muslim people, and they're although they're individuals and their families. The one fundamental thing that they have underneath that all is is their belief and the wonderful thing about Islam is that unifying force that they have you know there is this togetherness this solidarity and okay there's 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 Islamic groups that are you know not so not so good there's 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 rifts and 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 rap I think raptures is the word, but, but conflicts between various groups and sects. And, and that, this happens in all religions, it happens in all societies, it happens in every community. There's no uniformity in any grouping of, of people. 
But the one thing I love about Islam, and love is, is, is the appropriate word, is that unifying force that exists because of that religion and and the sense of community that it get that it gives and i'm thinking not so much not so broadly now but especially in relation to the palestinian issue the way that the, the muslim people have this brotherhood of support this outreach this this love this strength this bonding and this power that they express and I'm amazed by the number of, of subscribers to this channel that has it's, it's gone up significantly over the last two, three weeks because of a, of a post that I put online about the murder of you know, that wonderful Hamas leader. That out, out, outreaching of love and support uh, and that expression of unity that's come about simply because <laughs> because of Islam uh, and that has you know I'm going to put that out there and there's going to be people you know that that for whatever reason they're going to challenge that idea but that's my view um, and I want it known that you know I will continue to I'm not going to change and, be, and become a, a religious person because I'm not and I never will be. But I, I do want to put out there that I will always stand in support of a group of people that bond together and stand together, especially in times of challenge. I think that's wonderful. So to all the Muslim people out there, all the, the brothers and the sisters, it's wonderful. And I want that said, and put on the record, that, that I support you. I stand by you and I know that there's been times when some of you people have stood by me and, and we've, we've stood in solidarity over an issue so I want that put out there. Cheers.